Right. Okay, introducing uh, my next uh, special guest onto my radio show and podcast now. Um, we have a British singer-songwriter on the show, um, set to release some new music, but uh, she's already released music at the moment. Um, we have Lulu V joining me. Hi, Danny. Hi, how are we doing today? <laughs> I'm very well, thank you. How are things with you? Yeah, I'm good, thanks. Enjoying this great British sunshine. It's, well, it's lovely, isn't it? Now it is, finally. About it's time. got summer with it. About time. Lulu uh, V, um, really nice to meet you. Um, I just wanted to ask uh, Lulu V, um, how did you come up with your, your name? Is uh, is that part of your, like your real stage name in, a, in part? That is my stage name. Yeah, that's my stage name. Um, well, yeah, so I do get called a few things like Lou, Lulu. So um, so we just thought it would sound nice with Lulu V. So, so that's where it comes from, really. So the V um, really does add like, uh, the extra ingredient to your name doesn't it stand yeah, out that's correct mm. yeah exactly that and does the v like have any reference like roman numerals like number five or is it just oh been... no no it's just something that just sounds softer at the end of lulu and not to be mistaken for the the famous lulu as well so it's just something just something softer and just to roll off the tongue sweet now um where are you um like originally from like you went like your hometown growing up with music um have you always lived in the same area yeah so I'm from Portsmouth um so I lived in Mexico for a couple of years and um I've traveled a lot and I am I've always been into music always managed to write music when I was little it's only now that um I've had a push from people to say now it's time to record. Um, done some few gigs and now feels the right time to get an album together. So I've been very lucky with the support that I have um, and the following, which has made me progress to the stage. Great. That's great to hear. So you're up and running and now things can only progress from here. Exactly that. Right. Yeah. That's good. You don't, you know. You've got to be in it to win it, haven't you, Danny? Yeah, sure, sure. Good spirit. I like that. Um, do you remember, like, your first journey into music um, to this very day? Yeah. So um, my granddad played the piano, and I, I, and from that, I learned the piano because he heard that I had talent. So I played the piano for 10 years, did my grades, and then I travelled um, when I was 18 and heard different, lots of different types of music. And it wasn't until about two years ago, um, my children had grown up a bit more, that I managed to have time to sit there and write again. And um, I've written in the last, I would say, two years, and it's really flowing now. So it's 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 wonderful. So it, I I luckily I managed to get mu new music down. Um, probably I write a song probably one to every month two months I get managed to get something recorded now mm. so I'm very lucky like that good good stuff um next question I'm going to ask for you you have a brand new single a record uh, doing the rounds at the moment uh, it's simply called Freak um what's this song yeah. about and uh, how uh, has it been received so this song uh is about a person who acts like an absolute idiot in front of a person that they they think is wonderful. So every time they enter the room, they're clumsy, they're a klutz, and um, they don't know how to act in front of them. And this other person has no idea who, who the person is. They just, they just look through them. And the person singing is uh, really trying to get their attention, but doesn't do it in the correct way, and instead looks like a freak. So, um, I can't relate to any, just so you know, I can't relate to any of my music. It comes through and I do a lot of writing on my baritone ukulele. I'll just show you here. Mm -hmm. All on this. Oh, wonderful. Yeah, yeah, it's a, it's a lovely sound, really nice sound. So it sounds like a guitar, but it's not. It's a bigger version of a ukulele. So I do all the music writing on this um, and Freak, 
uh, was written on that, but it's very much like a punk rock. So when it came to the recording studio, we could have all the instruments put in. So we had, you know, electric guitars, bass, everything that gets thrown into a, a, like a type of rock song. Mm. So it really fills out the song and mm. gives it a bit more depth to it. Now on this record, Free, can I just say you, you have roots in folk music with this record, yes. you, as you mentioned, wanted to give it an edgier sound. Yeah, so this was, so Freak was written, which is very different from other songs. All my songs are very different. Um, and to give it that sort of twang, to make it sound a bit crazy, a little bit, there is, there are other instruments in there, which um, like you've got, a, you've, you've got a heavy metal, you've got a heavy guitar in there playing with the bass beat, a fast beat. Um, it's just to build up the story really behind the person that, is trying to get that other person's attention. That makes sense. Um, now, moving on to um, your next single called Bus Stop Girl, um, just uh, want to mention before yeah. that, uh, Freak is now available to, you know, download, available on all good outlets. So I'll yes. make sure I mention That's that. Correct. yeah. And yeah. the, the Bus Stop Girl, um, wanted to ask her, you, you, you mentioned that has a contrasting sound to um, Freak. Yeah. Um, now, yeah. now, the Bus Stop Girl, um, is there a hidden mean, meaning to this song? <laughs> do you know what no do you, it's no not really I I just I okay so there is a story behind me actually writing it so I received I got I bought this baritone ukulele okay and within the hour of me buying the baritone ukulele I wrote bus stop girl it was the tone and the sound and I just came up with the lyrics bus stop girl and bus stop girl is, is a girl that sits on the bus and sees that person, the, the other person, the other girl waiting at the bus stop who she absolutely adores. And she cannot, um, she wants to get off at the stop to meet and talk with her and hopefully get somewhere with her. But the lyrics just flew with that one. I wrote that within an hour. Mm -hmm. So um, I, I can't relate to the song by catching the bus or anything like that but the song works really well and I just went with it. Um, well, I'm sure the listeners, there'll be someone out there who, who can connect with it. Absolutely. It's a nice, jolly song. That's how it's a nice, sweet song. Cool. Um, now, you've got, you've had a couple of singles under your belt um, and I wanted to ask, um, do you have like a collection of songs coming out? Any material dropping soonish? Yes. Um, I'm recording currently another, it's a, it's a punk, it's not pop, punk rock, it's a pop rock and that's called The One um, and that's different also to Freak and Bus Stop Girl and that should be out, I would say, we're finalising it this week and it should be out at the beginning of July. Okay. So I'm looking forward um, to that one, really looking forward to that one. I mean, uh, with this interview, um, if it does go up by then, maybe we, we can, um, you know, yeah, see absolutely, if we get that played as well. Um, do you enjoy like creating music videos when you get time as well with your single releases? Yeah, I do. I'm. I do think I haven't done a music video for both of those, but I want to do them. And then uh, for the one, I was on a flight the other day, and I thought I'm going to take some pictures. I'm going to take a picture of the sky and the mountains and record that and see if that works well as a music video, parts of it. So my mind does race a lot to think what would work well with them. Mm. So, yeah, that, absolutely. Yeah. It's so much fun. Interesting point. Like, you know, when you have music videos shot on location, sometimes mm. you're doing like a collage or a montage or a visualiser is just as effective. Yeah, for the listener. yeah, exactly. And and it's it's fun. The best thing is being creative and writing music and building music for an audience is fun. And um, it, it's even better knowing that someone else will like to listen to it or enjoys your music. That's what makes it fun. Mm. Um, who have been like your um, you like your dream, dream influences and inspirations over the years, like um, decades wise or. Um... Yeah. Or uh, do you have any dream collabs you may wish to tell me and my listeners about? Well, I really, so I like all genres of music. Um, I really like Alanis Morissette's, when I was growing up, her lyrics and how she wrote was 
fascinating to me. Um, I really like Noah Khan um, and his writing. Um, I really like the zombies. Uh, so it's all like different zombies from the 60s, things like that. I, I really like different types of music and I appreciate every type of music. Um, but yeah, no, I have had influences. I mean, Kate Nash is very good and she's funny with her lyrics and her, how, how she writes and how she plays. Um, so yeah. Anyway, oh, that's so amazing. I know Kate Nash has got a new album out. She's made made a little bit of a comeback. I, yeah, I, what I'm trying to do, so when I gig, I want to cover one of her songs, like Foundation. Mm. So I really want, because I really like that type of singing and, and it's it's quite basic and it's easy and it's fun. And the audience always like Foundations. So um, that's what I like to play in um, in front of people. If I'm covering something, that's good. Um, I mean, foundations that is a student anthem as well, which is very day, yeah, yeah. Oh, it's brilliant. Everybody, it's like everybody knows it, they like the lit, they, they laugh to it. It's a good song. Mm. It's a song like you hear, you know, but you, you forget about it and then you come back to it, like, yeah, and then you laugh because some of the lyrics, it's so it's so funny, you know, true. So, um, um yeah. so imagine someone like you, you know, your inspirations and like you, you're musical heroes so they say um where do you get your creativity and ideas from when songwriting um I wake up with them I wake up with them or I hear a note and then I'll come up with a melody and then I will come up with lyrics quite soon after that so if I'm in the middle of the night and some artists might relate to this they'll wake up with a song at four in the morning and you know that if you don't dictate it then and there you could forget it so sometimes I'm dictating really early in the morning and it turns out it sounds like I'm a when I re, when I listen back to it I you just hear this mumbled mess on a dictaphone but um that's where it comes from it just it, I wake up with them I dream about them and then I and then I play them if the dictating is quite good in the morning Hmm. I always find it's quite um, intriguing how the mind is very creative. I know. Night. I know. It's so strange. Yeah. And then you you sometimes think, well, have I thought of that? Have I heard that somewhere before? And that's why I've dreamt of it. But you realise, no, because no one else can relate to it either. Hmm. So, you know, you get the clear nod. It's fine. Um, and um, you, you mentioned um, elements of being like independent artist. Um, you, mm -hmm. you enjoy that side of things. Yeah, I do. I mean, it's nice to do everything on uh, like free will, as in like you're not tied. But I hope one day to have a label. You know, I hope to one day to work with a label. Um, and I just want pe I just want people. If if I make people happy with my music, that's all I ask for. It's just make people if people to listen, people enjoy it, and that's it. That's that's all I ask for. That's fair, 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 fair points. Um, will you be embarking on a UK tour anytime soon or just local gigs? Oh, just local gigs. One day, Danny, I'll hope to do a world tour, mm. but I don't I don't think it's going to get to that anytime soon. But local gigs is is brilliant for me. And it's uh, like the Portsmouth area, um, like yeah. down south England. Yep, yeah, all down south, um, especially like, for example, like there's some pubs that hire out incoming bands. So I'll put myself forward for them. Open mic, anywhere that I can enjoy to play, I will play. Great. Um, and um, what do you look, most look forward to about doing like local live gigs in your county? Um, well, you, you, it, you've always got to come out of your comfort zone. So it brings you out of your comfort zone to perform. And then once you're in it, um, it's nice to just see people enjoying it and um and then you start to relax and people are starting to enjoy it and then you go with the flow and it's just really enjoyable so I don't think it matters exactly where I am to play it's just the um, atmosphere and the emotion behind it to get onto that stage and then when the atmosphere is um is buzzing then then you become buzzing and you really enjoy it good yeah reciprocal audience and absolutely yeah, yeah.
that's what it's about isn't it yeah it's all about having fun isn't it yeah 100 percent um penultimate question for you um i'm gonna put you on the spot but um not too much on the spot but can, can you just tell me like an in, one interesting fact about yourself Okay, so the opposite side of my creativity is I'm actually a fire engineer. So I'm an, on the engineering side. So my brain works engineering and being creative. And I go in goal for football. So I play football, I'm an engineer, and I create music. So it's all it's just something that people just don't expect from me. Great. Um, brilliant. Thanks for uh, sharing that. Um, and I have to ask uh, where it's best for people to follow you on, um, you know, social media, um, emailing lists and streaming platforms. Yeah. So I've got a Facebook page called Lulu V. Um, I've also got an Instagram page, Lulu V Music. And I'm available on all the platforms such as Spotify, Apple Music, YouTube Music. Um, so I think that covers a lot of platforms. Um, I'm also on um, TikTok as well. I do some live recordings if people are interested in that. So yeah, I do try and cover as much as the social media side as what I can. And we did mention like your name, it's uh, L-O-U-L-U, -L -U, a one word space, V. Yes, Lulu V, yeah. Perfect. Yeah. Right. That's a great chat. Thank you very much for uh, taking time out to speak to me today on my show. It's been, um, it's been wonderful. It's been, yeah, it's been brilliant. Thank you ever so much. You're welcome. Have a great uh, rest of the day. Yeah, thank you, Danny.